I'm vlogging. It's boring. I'm clean. That's you, Mommy. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm having a really bad allergy attack. I don't know what is going on, but oh my goodness, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Whoa! You would think, oh, why don't you just start vlogging after you're done sneezing? Well, it's not stopping, so you're just gonna have to hear it. We're gonna go say hi to the chickens. Hi, kids. Oh, excuse you, Midnights. Are you singing? What song is that? What are you was that Maroon? Was that Antihero? Was that You're On Your Own Kid? Let's check on eggs. Four eggs today! You guys wanna come play? It's almost clean your coop day. What do you think of that? Oh my god, the attitude tiger! Oh my gosh, I'm passing the mulberry bush, which reminds me that I need to show you other footage from the vault. I've mentioned this before, but while I was taking a break from the internet, I definitely still vlogged a lot of life just at the advice of my therapist. A lot of that is just for me, but there are some little moments that I'm excited to share with you guys. The one has to do with that mulberry bush, but I was just about to say something else, but then I got distracted by the mulberry bush and I don't remember what I was gonna say. So I'm gonna find that footage of me making that mulberry pie and share it with y'all. I don't know how much footage I have from that day. I just remember that day I was making a mulberry pie. So if I have any other footage from that day too that I can share, I'll share it as well. I think it's kind of fun to show these little vault moments. Let me know if you're enjoying this or not, or if I should just stop doing the vaults and like let that those moments be those moments from the past. I'm gonna show you the mulberry bush footage now. Today, I want to make something I've never made before, which is a mulberry pie. These chairs are so cute, but was that? I swear to you, this house is haunted. I am so paranoid, but like, I definitely think this house is haunted and I hear stuff all the time. Everyone who's ever been to my house is the same thing. When they're here, they're like, <gasps> so we have a mulberry bush. I had never eaten a mulberry in my life that I know of until we got this mulberry bush in our backyard. And I think I have enough to make a mulberry pie. I've never made one before, but I looked up a recipe and I'm gonna try to make it. So the babies are taking a nap. So it's the perfect time to try to make a mulberry pie. This cat is Macy's current favorite stuffed animal. She's obsessed with this cat. She just calls it cat and she carries it in her little arm like this everywhere she goes and it's so cute. This is from a book series called Pete the Cat that I had never heard of until I read it at the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles to the kids there. And I was like, oh, this book is so cute. And so then I bought it for the kids and Flynn loves those books and Maisie loves this freaking cat. Anyway, getting distracted. I'm gonna go make this mulberry pie. So the first thing I need to do is collect mulberries from my garden. Let's get started. It is shocking how many mulberries are on this tree. It's shocking. Yeah, a bee. Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh my god, look at my hand. Covered. So this is what they look like. This is what it looks like in a tree when you go looking for them. I'll show you. If you pull back, you can see like there's white ones and red ones, and you want the black ones. See how the black ones are falling because they're very ripe, so the ripe ones are just gonna fall off. Such a big spider web. Yuck, 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 yuck. Might need to be done. That was a lot for me. My sweet lovey just got me an orange from our orange tree. The babies are eating lunch. Four cups of mulberries. Orange juice. A little bit of orange zest. Mix all that up. Three fourths cup sugar and a third cup of flour. I don't think this is gonna fill a pie. I think I should have had way more mulberries, but I was sick of digging through that spider bush. I feel like I need more flour. I'm gonna get more flour. Yeah, I definitely need way more mulberries. Oh my god, this is totally gonna be a fail. It's gonna be such a shallow little pie. I just couldn't stand being in that freaking bush any longer, but I definitely needed like two more cups of mulberries. Okay, I'm putting this in for an hour. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not optimistic about this. Okay guys, the pie is done. So yeah, let's cut into this thing and see if it's any good. Okay, it seems to have congealed. Oh, I'm impressed. I thought it would goop out and it didn't. I do have whipped cream and ice cream and stuff, but I'm just gonna go straight in. It looks better than I thought it would now that I've cut into it. It's kind of pretty. Oh, hmm. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> The consistency is really bad. You know, it'll be good on ice cream. Like if you mushed this up and put it in vanilla ice cream, I feel like it'd be really good. Yeah, it's not very good, but I've been wanting to do this for like a couple of months. It's okay. Let's go hang out with my chickens. Here we go. 
Here's Miss Applesauce. They like to roost in the tree, so we're underneath a big fig tree right now. So I'm gonna put applesauce up here. You just wanna stay on my arm? She just wants to stay on my arm. Miscellaneous is trying to get up. Look. Can you jump up? I think applesauce likes my arm because it's warm. Oh, she just jumped off completely. Okay, never mind. I got a package. Oh, a what? An itty bitty spider. It's crazy? Yeah. It's his new thing. It's crazy. And the butter. Where's the spider? Itty bitty spider. Keep saying itty bitty spider. Oh, there's literally a spider. You did see a spider. Those are nice spiders. Daddy long leg. What did I get? What's this? Oh, I'm very excited about this actually. I saw an ad for a skirt on TikTok that I want to try. And a friend of mine actually got it and she was like, it's amazing. I actually love it. Got it in red for Christmassiness. Wesley's my hairstylist. Let's go try it on. I'm about to check on some rocks before therapy. I'm very excited. I'm hoping some of these are done. Goodbye. <laughs> We have some polished rocks, you guys. I'm so excited. It's obviously a lot darker because I had therapy, so I had to run earlier, but like, <gasps> they're so beautiful. I am so excited about these rocks. There honestly were more rocks that were done, but I just felt like they could have a little bit more shine to them. So I'm letting them run a little bit longer because I just felt like they could use a little bit more time in the polisher. This is the original rock that I thought was an Apache tier, but it's definitely not. But it finally finished and it looks so lamesauce.com, but like, I still love it. All the little white specks that were in it that made me think it was an Apache tier are gone. I don't know what kind of rock this is. It's just a black rock, but this is the rock that like made me interested in rocks. And that's so funny that now I just have it and she's finished. She's just an ugly black rock, but now she's a shiny, ugly black rock. Da -da -da. Look at that shine. These are not wet rocks. These are dry as can be, but they're just shiny. Look at that shine. Are you kidding? Come on. These were just ugly little doink rocks on the beach, and now they're like beautiful shiny doink rocks. Come on, they're so shiny. I don't know. I'm definitely probably wrong, but to me, this looks like petrified wood. Like if you look up close, it looks like petrified wood to me, but it could just be rock that looks a lot like wood, but I really think that it's wood. I don't know. So here's the black rock in question. It didn't even get like super shiny. This rock just really stood out to me at the beach and I was like, what is that rock? I need that rock. I thought it was an Apache tear, it wasn't. It made me look into rocks and the meaning behind rocks and I don't know. And that's kind of one of the first things that got me interested in them is this one. I wish you guys could see them up close because there's so many cool little details. I just, oh, you guys, they're just so sweet that they're like sliding and slipping out of my hands. Oh my God, I'm so happy, you guys. There were so many really pretty ones that were almost done, but I wanted to have a really good polish, really good shine. So I'm letting them run a couple more days, but it's killing me because I just want to take them out and look at them all. It's a beautiful sound, the sound of polished rocks. Okay, I'm gonna go play with my kids. Okay, bye. The kids love rocks maybe more than I do. They're using the light on my camera to see if they're glow rocks. I'll take it off my camera, hold on. See, they use, does it glow? You wanna share? Yeah, that's a little better. That's a glow rock? Two rocks. Two rocks. Whoa. What's it? Brown, yeah. And the color. Yeah, and the pink little bow. What color? 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 What this? What this? I think Wesley's a little bit deep. Okay, you guys have officially thrown all my rocks all over the floor. One, two, three, four, five. Good counting. I win. It's red. Uh, purple. And purple? It's red. It's red? <laughs> you have food on your face. Oh no, she's turning it off. Bye guys. <laughs> it's time to try on the skirt. So this is obviously not sponsored. <laughs> it's from Halara Halera. I don't know, but I always get ads for it like every five seconds. But I got two skirts from them. I feel like I'm entering into my skirt era, but I'm gonna try these on and see. So as far as I know, this thing is like viral-ish, but it's, maybe it's only on my for you page and I just see it all the time, but I see it everywhere. This freaking skirt, it's like corduroy and there's shorts under it, okay? And then I also got this one. I don't know why. This is definitely a middle of the night purchase that I don't think I should have done. So I'm gonna try this one on first because I have a feeling I'm not gonna like it. And then we'll try on the skirt. Okay, I don't hate this. Cute like black tights underneath. I could like tuck a shirt in or I could wear like a baggy like sweatshirt, like a Christmas sweater type vibe. I don't know, it's kind of fun. But shorts, 
Da -da, da -da -da -da. That is the best part. Wait, is there pockets? <gasps> Get out of freaking town. Pockets in the shorts. Oh my god, I am actually very excited about this. Here's my thing. I always want to like dress cute, but I don't know much about fashion, obviously. But also, I'm weird about certain fabrics and textures, and I need to be comfortable. I need to be able to sit how I want to sit and be how I want. I just want to be cozy. But the fact that their skirts have shorts built in with pockets, this is comfortable. Do you think it's cute? I kind of like it. It's fun. What do we think? Do we hate it? I don't know. Let's try another one. Okay, skirt number two. So here is skirt number two. It's cute. I just have an issue with anything that's supposed to be like a tight, cute skirt because I don't have hips or butt at all, like literally nothing. Most skirts, jeans, things like that are sewn in a way where it allows some room for hips because most human beings have those. But mine, I don't. But anyway, I don't hate it. I think it could be cute. I maybe like the other one better, but it also has the short. However, no pockets. This one doesn't have the pockets. So the other one to me is better. But I do think it's cute. I don't know. What do we think? I'm just bummed this doesn't have pockets. Why would they put pockets in that skirt but not in this skirt? Like everyone wants a pocket. Who doesn't want pockets in their clothes? Like, hello? What do we think? Let me know. So I did not realize how late into the month of November we were for some reason and that basically it's December. Oh my God. So tomorrow is Thursday. It's the last day of November and then it's December and then we have our advent. And so I need to finish up my advent calendar and my nanny's advent calendar. So I wanted to make Taylor Swift advent calendars because I couldn't find one that I liked online. So I went way overboard and I'll show you the process of making these advent calendars another time because it was intense. I'm not done with it. So this is the midnight's one, but it's not finished. Oh my God, so much glitter. It's not done. I still have to put like knobs on all the doors and decorate it with some other things. I have to paint the sides, which is what I'm going to do right now is this lover advent calendar. This one's for my nanny. I got her an advent calendar last year, so I wanted to get her one this year. And I know she loves Taylor Swift just as much as I do. So I was like, okay, well, I'll do two. I know what you're probably thinking. You made the advent calendar, so don't you know everything that's inside of it? Yes, but technically, no. I bought all the stuff for this advent calendar literally like a month ago, and I put it all inside of it probably three weeks ago, and then I just kind of forgot about them. So I can remember some of the things I bought, but I know that every day I'm gonna open up a door and be like, oh my God, I forgot about that. So it'll still be a surprise. But I thought I would answer a couple tortilla talk questions while I paint these before I say goodnight to you all. And the first question is, what Taylor Swift song reminds you the most of Eric? And that's from Monica. Well, I mean, there are so many songs and lyrics that remind me of Eric, but I do think that Lover is probably the number one. And I might've had a different answer another day, but right now I'm gonna say Lover because last night he surprised me. I put the kids to bed and then I went and I found him in the podcast room playing his guitar. He's like, oh, I wanted to play something for you. I was gonna play it for you on your birthday, but it got just too crazy and chaotic and I never had time, so I'm gonna play it for you right now. We started playing and singing the song Lover. <laughs> so sweet and so cute. Now, he's not a Swifty. He appreciates that I love Taylor Swift, but he's kind of like, I, I love that you like her and I love that you have her, but like, it's just not my thing, you know? But I think if he just like really sat and like listened to her lyrics and really like dove in, he would become a Swifty because I feel that way about everybody on the planet. But there are so many sweet, lovely, wonderful, romantic lyrics in the song Lover. All's well that ends well that ends up with you. Can I go where you go? Can we always be this close? Just the concept of like craving to do simple, normal, everyday things with the person you love I think is so sweet and that's so how I feel about him like we're not the types of people who are like oh we want this really romantic experience we're just like I just want to like hang out with you like I just want to like watch a documentary or like I just want to sit next to him like oftentimes I'll just go in there and like do a craft next to him or just sit near him just because like I want to be near him you know what's funny is Lover is one of Flynn's favorite Taylor Swift songs he likes Calm Down the best it's his favorite but his second favorite is Lover and there was a time where he was obsessed with it wanted to listen to it all the time Flynn loves a ballad he loves a freaking ballad man he would sing the lover you in the lover part he go lover you can do the vibrato like that and it was so cute he did it all the time oh my god this comment blew my mind i feel so dumb ala wrench said ala wrench sorry i'm sure i'm saying it wrong said colleen it's mod podge come on girl with the laughing crying emoji my jaw dropped to the freaking floor, you guys. I have lived my whole freaking life loving Mod Podge, obsessing over Mod Podge, using Mod Podge in so many crafts, and I have always thought it was Mod Podge. Why did I think it was Mod Podge? There is no G in the mod of Mod Podge. Why did I think it was Mod Podge? I am so embarrassed. I literally read that comment and went, <gasps> I 
can't believe how dumb I feel. I'm looking at a bottle of Mod Podge right now on the floor and it literally says so clearly plain as a M-O-D, Mod. I am so sorry y'all had to listen to me saying Mod Podge for so long. How embarrassing, I don't wanna talk about it. I'm just sorry. Ali Finn Noble said, please get a UV light and shine it on all your tumbled glass. I guarantee some of your green glass is uranium and will glow. I don't know what you're talking about, but I do think I have a black light. Is that the same thing as a UV light? I think it is, I don't know. I'm gonna try this really quick and see if it works. Okay, I have my black light and I have my sea glasses kind of separated. Hold on, I feel like I need to like hold the camera so you guys can see what I'm looking at. My sea glass is all separated out right now. So in this bag I have white and blue big chunks of sea glass because I was gonna make like maybe snowmen or something. And then I have bigger chunks of green sea glass to make like trees and stuff out of. Little pieces that I wanted to use to make for, wait, that's a shell. Oh, this is a shell that looks like a Santa hat. Then I also have this huge jar full of sea glass. Let's turn off the lights in here and go through these things and see if we have any uranium, which I don't even know what that is. Okay, let's see what we find. I mean, it looks cool, but it's not glowing. It just looks kind of neat. Next, some green. What's it supposed to look like? I mean, I don't think we got any uranium. This jar is gonna take a while. Wait, is that glowing? I can't tell. Are these things glowing or is it just, I don't know what's glowing. Wait, that looks glowy. What is that? Oh, that's just like trash. Is that a worm? I don't know. This doesn't look uranium -y to me. Let's check my little wreath moments. <gasps> Wait, oh, oh, oh my God. Wait, what is that? I would assume this is uranium, but what is it? What does that mean? Is it like poison? Oh my God, hold on. This is what it looks like. It just looks like a light green piece of sea glass. And this one's like almost like a light blue sea glass. Okay, so these two pieces, right? So now the light's off. I'm gonna put the UV light on it. Check it out, they glow. I'm definitely too lazy to get up and turn the lights all back on, so I'm just gonna sit in the dark. But I have my little light on my camera, so it's fine. Anyway, that's cool. I don't know what uranium is, but I have two very tiny pieces of it. Thank you for telling me about that. Now I need to look into uranium. I feel like I remember hearing that's like a poisonous chemical or something. Uranium can irritate the skin and cause a skin rash. No, I just touched that. Breathing uranium can irritate the lungs. It can cause damage to the kidney, the liver, and the blood cells. Uh, repeated exposure can cause permanent scarring of the lungs. Wait, do I need to throw this away? What do I do with this? Wait, I have two little tiny chunks of this stuff. What do I do with it? Someone please tell me. I'm Now I'm scared. Should I not have touched that? Did you lead me astray? Wait, should I not? Should I wash my hands? What do I do right now? I don't know. I, th I think I need to go. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.